Hey guys, this is Tim from Modern Tech Reviews. Thanks for checking out another video. Today I'm doing a review on the Logitech G Pro Gaming Wireless Mouse. Uh, as you can see, I still have it in the original box and cellophane. I wanted to wait to open it until I was ready to do this review because I want to be able to unbox it and kind of go through it during the video and then I'm going to do the review on it and see what I think and let you guys know. So right off the bat, the first thing I noticed listed is the sensor on this mouse, which handles up to 16,000 DPI. Now this is advertised as a gaming mouse. I mean, it literally has the word gaming in its title. So this is a gaming mouse, of course, designed and meant for gamers. This mouse is pretty lightweight, coming in at 80 grams. The mouse is an ambidextrous mouse, which just means that you can use it either right or left-handed. And what's pretty cool is that it comes with add-on buttons for the sides. There's two buttons for each side, and you can put them on and configure them whichever way you want. So you can have them on the right or left, depending on your play style. And you can also actually put all four mouse buttons on it, which would give you a total of seven programmable buttons on this mouse. The battery life on this mouse is listed at 48 hours with the default lighting and up to 60 hours with no lighting. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna test it out and see if it really does seem to last that long. Probably the coolest feature that I've found or what I think I'll find with this mouse is called the power play feature. Now this is a proprietary charging system that Logitech came up with that basically charges the mouse wirelessly while you use the mouse. The downside is that you have to buy the Logitech mouse pad. You can't get another device by another company. But the plus side is that you're going to be able to use this mouse indefinitely and just keep going and going because it keeps it charged while you're using it. That's a pretty cool feature to not ever have to worry about recharging your mouse. I'm not planning at this point to get that mouse pad because the one that I have now, which is a Corsair mouse pad, has the RGB lighting around the edge of the mouse pad, and I prefer that. The Logitech mouse pad does not have the RGB lighting strip along the edge. Maybe Logitech will come out with one down the road, and if I really like it, then I might consider it at that point. We'll see. This mouse does have onboard memory, which means you can save five profiles on the mouse. I guess the main benefit of that is if you're gonna be taking this mouse to other computers or maybe a friend's house to game with, it'll have your profiles that will kind of move with you. This is an RGB mouse, so it does have lighting that you can change the color on. However, it's only listed to have one zone. So I think it's just the Logitech symbol that has a color changing capability, but that's totally fine with me because typically when you're using the mouse, you've got it covered up anyway, so you're not even looking at the lighting. Lastly, the durability factor listed for this mouse is 50 million clicks. So in my experience, I usually use mice for about one to two years anyway, and I'm sure I come nowhere near 50 million clicks. So it sounds like it's pretty durable, but I haven't really compared this directly with any other mice to see what their durability rating is listed at. But 50 million seems definitely acceptable for the price point.
50 million. Excellent. Huh. Doesn't work anymore. Okay, so durability test complete. The mouse stops working after 50 million clicks. Exactly. Just kidding. Okay, so obviously I didn't do 50 million clicks. But I can tell you this. I really like this mouse. I think it is phenomenal. I've used it for almost a week now, and right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you that my number one favorite feature is the battery life. The, I've charged it once, the day I got it, and I use this thing probably, I'd say on average, at least six hours a day, uh, some days a little bit more, because I work from home. I use this to work with, and I've just been cranking on it day and, you know, day and night. Uh, I don't even turn it off. I just walk away and let it go to sleep on its own. The little light, if you can see it, the little light will turn off automatically after a little bit. So I guess it's like in a sleep mode. But uh, overall, I'm very, very pleased with this mouse. So let's quickly go through my pros. Right off the bat, battery life, my number one pro, my favorite feature. It was getting annoying having to charge my old mouse sometimes every night or at least every two nights. And once in a while I would forget or I, you know, I wouldn't charge it or it wouldn't be on the charger just right. And I'd go to use it the next day and it'd be dead. Um, this one now I've had it for I think six days now, using it pretty much every single day. It's still showing 38 hours of battery life left. When I started, it was showing 68 to 70, somewhere in that ballpark. So 38 hours left after a solid week of use. It's not even at the halfway point on the little battery bar. So definitely the battery in this thing is phenomenal. It's exceptional. Uh, okay, let's talk about the lighting. So there's only one thing you can change. You, there, and there's only a couple of options. You can make it pulse, you can make it go through the, the rainbow color spectrum, or you can just set it to a static color that's always on as long as the mouse is working, which is what I have it set at. So pretty basic for coloring. But to me, that's fine because like I said earlier, when you're using a mouse like this, I mean, the lighting is covered up while you're using it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. And when you walk away, at least for a few minutes, it is lit up on your desk, it looks pretty. If you like RGB, then it's, it's got that cool flair to it. Uh, the weight of this mouse, it's almost a little bit too light for me, but I'm not gonna list that as a con. The weight is okay. I never did find any way to add a weight to this thing, but I could swear that I saw one. So if anybody knows of a weight that you can put in the bottom of this, just type it down below, that way I'll know. I do know that there's the, the power play module, maybe that has some weight to it, but this thing is 80 grams as is, which is pretty lightweight for a mouse. Uh, but I, you know, after I used it for a few days, I really didn't find that I had any attention on it. It just, it's a mouse, it works fine, it works actually great. And that brings me to my next pro, which is the, I guess I'll call it the accuracy, overall accuracy of the mouse. Moving it around, I never experienced the cursor jumping or acting oddly or moving in ways that I felt it shouldn't. It was very consistent with my movements, which to me made it a good mouse to use, as it should be for the price point. This should definitely be a very accurate mouse. Now I did try the 16,000 DPI, I honestly have no idea who can use a mouse at that level. I mean, I don't know. It's It moves so fast on the screen that I just, it's hard for me to even get to an icon to click it. I imagine that there must be a use for that. I just don't know exactly what it is or it's not a use that I would use. So I actually run it at about a thousand DPI, which is perfect for me. And I don't ever really need to switch it. So for my use, a thousand, which I think was the default, that's totally fine and it's gonna work for me. Now the side buttons, I didn't test these out and the reason I didn't test them is just simply because I never use side buttons on a mouse. I know that some people like it. I, the way my grip is on the mouse, it just is not comfortable or easy for me to hit the button while I'm trying to play a game. Now this particular mouse, the buttons in my opinion are a little bit high up. So if you're, looking for these side buttons to be programmable, keep in mind where your thumb is going to sit on this thing. I'll kind of try to show you here. You know, the buttons are a little bit high. 
and your thumb kind of rests just below them. So you're not just pressing, you have to lift your thumb a little and then press. Now it's gonna be different depending on your hand, the way you hold the mouse, that sort of thing. So just consider that if the way you hold the mouse is a little bit higher, if you put your hands like, like this, see I have them down like this, it just depends on how you hold it. So just consider that, look at your own mouse, does your thumb normally rest down low right toward the ground or is it, or the table, or is it closer to where these buttons would be? And they're in the same height on the other side as well. In the software, there is plenty of programmability. You, it looks like you can assign pretty much any macro or button or key press to any of these buttons, including the top three or any of the side four. There are little spacers to remove the side buttons. I didn't even bother putting those in because the buttons don't get in my way at all. I find that just the stock configuration with the four buttons in was perfect for me. I didn't mind it. I'm just gonna leave it be, they're gonna stay there. So overall, I think that my pro list is pretty much, the mouse works very, very well. It's comfortable to hold. I like how my hands feel on it. My hand doesn't go numb after gaming for two hours. It's easy to use, the buttons are responsive, the mouse moves very well. It is lightweight, which like I said, is not a pro, but it's also not a con for me. I find that it moves very easily, very well. I never have trouble controlling it. So there's no issue with the weight, really. And now we come to my list of cons. The nice thing about this mouse is, honestly, there is only one con, the price. I think that $150 for this mouse is a little bit high. I think it should be closer to maybe $125 or $100. $150 is pushing it, however, Consider that it has the power play option, and I think that's part of what you're paying for is the capability of getting that Logitech mouse pad that charges the thing while you use it. That's something to consider, and I, I can understand that that technology might require or make this a higher budgeted mouse. Uh, pretty cool, the actual charging system or the mouse pad itself, which is called the Logitech G Power Play Wireless Charging System. So that system includes that little module, which is magnetic and pops into the bottom. I'll just show you that. So on the bottom here is this, this little disc and it, it comes apart like that. So this little disc is going to get replaced with the disc that comes with the mouse pad. And then that just kind of snaps right in here. Well, not really snaps, it's magnetic. And away you go and then you're good to go. And this thing now becomes a wireless charging mouse, similar to like the, the G charging mice or you know the wireless charging for iPhones and Androids, except this is its own system and you get the Logitech mouse pad and it works with this. Now for me, I am probably not gonna bother getting the Logitech mouse pad. The reason Number one is because I like my RGB lighting that's around the edge of my Corsair mouse pad right now. But number two, this mouse battery lasts for so long, I don't even need that constant charging thing. It's not a big deal to me to charge it up by plugging in the USB cable one time a week. Now, of course, if you're a, a more avid computer user or you game for many, many, many hours in a day, you might find that your battery wears out quicker of course there's going to be differences and i'm sure that just like any device with wireless charging over time this battery is going to wear out having said that i will mention that in the manual it does tell you how to replace the battery so there must be a way to order a replacement battery and then you take this thing apart and you can replace that lithium ion battery that's inside so that's a nice bonus that it actually is apparently user serviceable since the manual shows you how to get into it. There's a bunch of screws you have to remove and you get in and replace the battery. You can invest if you want in this wireless charging mouse pad by Logitech. That thing costs $100. The mouse itself is 150. So you're looking at 250 bucks and you get the kind of the whole system, the pair. For me, like I said, I'm totally fine with just the mouse. I am totally gonna keep this mouse. I'm gonna, this is gonna be my main mouse for as long as the thing lasts. We'll see if I can get it up to 50 million clicks for real. So far, after a week of testing, I highly recommend this mouse. I think it's wonderful. It's a very, very nice product. It feels durable. 
it is lightweight, which is funny in a way because sometimes I've associated lightweight electronics with cheap. But this doesn't feel cheap. After using it for a week, I can tell you that I don't feel like the buttons are loose. Nothing feels like it's bending or, you know, going to be something that's going to wear out quickly. This is a quality product that Logitech put out, and I'm very happy with this mouse. So if you're looking for whether or not I recommend this mouse, definitely. This is a $150 mouse. It's worth the price, in my opinion. I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit less. Maybe you'll catch a sale sometime later this year. But if I had to do it again and I was offered this only at this price of $150, I would pay it. I do like the mouse enough that I'm willing to pay more than I feel that it's worth in order to have it. And again, the number one thing for me has been that battery life. I love how long it is. You know, I just remembered one final thing that I like about this mouse. With my old mouse, in order to wake it up when it goes to sleep, I would always have to click one of the buttons. With this mouse, I just sit down and slide the mouse just a millimeter and it wakes up instantly. It's, it's awake and it's already moving on my screen. So the time it takes to go from sleep to fully awake and on and functioning is very, very minimal. It's less than a second, so it feels rather instantaneous. It actually just feels like a wired mouse that's always on even though I can tell it's in a sleep mode because the light is off and the battery has not gone down overnight. I definitely can see how this is a gaming mouse. Okay guys, that's it for my video. I hope you liked my review. Be sure to subscribe down below if you wanna be alerted to new videos that I post and I'll see you guys in the next video.